do you? That's good. I like that. <laughs> well, Canada has, of course, a rich and successful history in Paris skating, but the last time the country won a World Paris title was more than a decade ago, and there's a one proud Canadian fan in the stands today. This is Lubov Ilyushishkina and Dylan Moskovich. They're competing in the first big international event of their short careers together, and they've only been together since June. Uh, Lubov is Russian. Uh, she won the World Junior title with another partner, Dylan. He's from Toronto, finished fourth at the last uh, two World Championships with his old partner. You know. Trying to settle your mind down. Use your knees, trust your training. Side by side, triple souse. Little touchdown by Dylan. I was putting my attention on the side of the the ice that had Luboff on it because that's, if there was a mistake, where it would come from, but not this time. And it's been a frantic year for Lubov and Dylan. Getting together a new partnership, getting the citizenship for Lubov, all takes its toll, but they've done a great job getting together in a really short time. Just a wobble on that leg on the way up, but Dylan was able to handle it. Very difficult entrance. is one of the most competitive of the disciplines. You can see those spins getting out of time. Not a big mistake until it matters later. Just eight months together for this team, and uh, they say they think they can finish in the top ten here at the World Championships. That would be an accomplishment in their first year together. Just being at Worlds is an accomplishment. Right. Amazing you know. achievement. Amazing. And both of them come with a pedigree in the pairs world. In fact, they competed against each other at one point. Skate Canada, yeah. Lubov coming out on top by half a point, I think. It Skate Canada in uh, Kit Kingston. When you get a new team together, we've talked about this before. You know, I did it with my own skater, Paul Poirier. He got a new partner, and somebody at PJ actually asked me, how long does it take to, to get them together? And I said, come back in three years yeah. and ask me, because that's what it takes. You know, the spacing, the timing, the getting used to one another. It's a process, and it can't be rushed. You even look at... Uh Megan Duhamel and Eric Radford. This is their fourth season together, almost five now. And they were pretty seasoned veterans with other partners and uh, got together and look at now they are on the precipice of possibly winning a world title. We will see them skate last today.
Take a look at this sow cow. Big lean, and I gotta give props to Dylan for making sure that that edge stayed intact. He did have to put his hand down, but better than a fall, definitely. And all the other elements were quite clean, just a little off on the one spin. Beautiful throw here, and that's kind of how Luboff lands her jumps, just a little bit forward. But she's a star. You, you can see as they develop, look at that face. I mean, the joy in her skating just comes out in everything she does. You can see she's right where she wants yeah. to be with who she wants to be with. It's a wonderful feeling. And the lyrics, perfect. A new dawn, she's a new day, good. a new life. And she's feeling good. Yeah. <laughs> they train out of Toronto with Lee Barkell and Bryce Davison, a former uh, Paris champion from Canada. Their only ISU international appearance was at Four Continents this season. Uh, their score in the short was 60.13. So they'll compare this to that score, and we see there a new season's best by fractions of a point. So that's what you want at the Worlds. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, bless. <laughs> How Canadian of him. Really. On the ice now, a break.